Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today Trenton gets has a little bit of payback in mind. I'm I'm just I'm having a little bit of a feeling. You're kind of right. <laughs> I, I'm not going as far as you did. If you didn't watch, we did a, a video, a surprise video. Mm -hmm. I walked downstairs and you said, hey, we're gonna do a blind. And then I think you said, Oh, I know what's in them. I'm just gonna taste taste alongside you. You didn't even tell me that. <laughs> You didn't, yeah, that's right. You didn't tell me that. You were like, oh, we're going to do a blind. Your mom poured them all this stuff. She did. They both poured them. It was a bunch of hoopla. <laughs> so, you know, you put George Dickel Tabasco in there. You put in some some weird stuff. Yeah, and, and here's and here's the thing. Here's why I'm a bit nervous. You really want to know? Is because when I do something like that, it's just for fun, right? But you're, you're a tad I'm cutthroat. bit... cutthroat. You're a tad bit devious, sir. I, I, I know. You are. So, you know, I have, my mind has to be thinking, you know, what kind of games are you playing up here? I'm going to be a little bit more transparent than you were. I'll just say that. These are all bourbons. And since you're like the king of lower proof stuff, these are lower proof bourbons. I wouldn't call myself the king. Well, I do appreciate them and like lower proof. Well, they, you well know, there you go. You know, a lot of no people line up for cast strength, you know, and I, I, I like them. Good hundred proof, 90, 90 to hundred proof bourbon. Well, good because that's what these are. There's no, there's no shenanigans, no funny business well, going on. I'm surprised mom gave wasn't you, involved. I'm surprised she, he gave you that much information. Yeah, well, you know, I'm nice. <laughs> so <laughs> there's something coming. If I wanted to be real evil, I could have like mixed up a bunch of wild turkey and put in like some Tabasco or some, you know, vinegar <laughs> or pickle juice in there or something. I'm I love giving, me some vinegar, dude. I'm giving myself ideas for yeah, next time. I'm loving that. So. Yeah, I figured I'd, right. I'd put together a little a smorgas, smorgasbord of different bourbons. And All right. So I guess I'm just go at it. starting and see what yeah. are we doing, ranking them, or what's the what's the, well, end, what's the what's the end goal here? You don't mean you got to rank them. I figured as much. So, so I, you got A, uh, A, B, C, D, and then okay. you'll just, I know I know what these are, but I just need you to tell me what you think. Are you tasting with me? I'll taste them with are you. Are you going to be honest Yeah. with your, yeah. you know, couple... Tasting notes, possibly some nosing notes that you yeah. might find. And all I'll right. also tell you, right. and I'll tell you and the good folks watching, this is all stuff that you have down here. So it's not like I didn't pull like a something from 1952 and as much as I'd love to and toss that <laughs> yes, in. I didn't do. do that. Yes, so. you would. Is this, um, then with that being said, I'm assuming this is bottles that our folks can find as well. Yes. All yeah. Right. All right. Absolutely. All right. Well, well, let's go with it then. Glass A. Trenton. Yeah, and I took uh, my phone. You know me; my mind's a steel trap. I don't forget <laughs> anything, but I did forget what I poured. So I'm gonna grab my phone because I did write it down in my phone. Steel trap fail, bub. Well, you know I'm like, I'd say my mind's a steel trap like two percent of the time. <laughs> okay, that's right. I'm gonna have to look at that again a couple times. I think I would too. So don't worry about. It. I like the nose here. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice caramely toffee. A little bit of toffee there. Not deep and dark and rich, but a little bit of sweetness there. Yeah. This I one like made it. like my nose itch. I wasn't picking my nose. I just had to go like <laughs> kind of inside a little bit on the on the rim there just to you get You ever have like a cut or something inside your nose? Yes. And it's like, and you go in there and you try to, and you can't oh, keep your horrible. finger out of it. It's horrible. It's like you keep diving in and it's like you shouldn't because then it'll bleed. Oh, I get bloody noses all the time. <laughs> I'll wake up 2 a.m. My nose is just water fountaining blood. Let's get back to the bourbon here. We got a little bit off topic. I get a little blood on the nose. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Iron. <laughs> Hemoglobin. Hema what? <laughs> Hemoglobin. It's just blood. Don't I don't worry know what that is. Don't worry. What is that, like sodium chloride that's salt? Yeah, but I just, just... Hemoglobin. Let's just get back. Let's just... <laughs> let's get it right back in there. <laughs> I love right that sound. I like it, though. I think the nose is pretty solid. Well... Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, there's a tiny bit of sourness there, but for me, the nose translates to the palate. Yeah, I'd a agree. Caramel, a little bit of toffee, some decent sweetness, not a lot of depth. Mm -mm. But somebody poured me that. When like I was visiting medium, somewhere, I'd, I'd be happy with that. Medium viscosity. Sure. You know, it's not too bad. Not thin, mm -mm. but not, not viscous, but not thin. I like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I think when I went like the, I don't have a problem with that at all. I think when I made the like the rabbit noise, mm -hmm. 
some something happened with the alcohol because I really got a bunch on the back end that I didn't get on the first See? one. Keep horsing around, dude. I guess, I, yeah, I guess that's what happens, isn't it? What happens? Horsing around. Huh. <clears throat> this one's lighter on the nose for me. Caramel, cough. Caramel? Yeah. Very light caramel, maybe even in some honey note. Honey, okay. Maybe a little grain. But everything light. Yeah. It's like a, a crispiness. Or like yeah. A crispiness. It's, it's got... Maybe a little bit of citrus of some sort, just a tiny bit. I can't pinpoint it, but but yeah, okay. crisp. That's good. That's a good one, bud. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Yes. <laughs> good in a good way, in a bad way. It, it just doesn't. Um, doesn't tickle your fancy? No, it, I, I like A better than B so far. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't complain if I got that pour. Would I wish in my head I would have got something different? Probably. Okay. Um, it doesn't really it doesn't really give me a lot to go off of. Okay. It's kind of a one-noter for me. So I'm doing my best to not give, like, I don't want to lead you in a direction... Or, or something, because obviously I know what these is. Man, I got a rock in my crock. It's not bad. <clears throat> I get a little bit of caramel, a tiny bit of astringency, which is, is not that big of a deal. Um, I got a Heath, a Heath bit on my sock that got in my crock. Well, that's what you get for eating your mom's baking Heath chips. That's her fault. Mom? Yes? Why'd you have to bring those down? You asked. <laughs> Well, you know, it's okay, bud. Yeah, it's all right. Um, I'm giving it that. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, my God, I'm gonna look at my phone again here. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Well. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I didn't pre-roll these for you. Yeah, I, I noticed. That's not a problem. Yeah. I noticed. Yeah, you that's don't okay. get the smells I'm, and all. Yeah, this I'm, stuff. I have a hard time with that. That's okay though. We'll get it. This one's very light on the nose for me, so this is. Almost reminiscent of B on the nose. You think so? Well, keep in mind these are all pre like lowish proof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's considered a low proof yeah. line for you. So, and I get that. <clears throat> the only like really the only intense nose I've ever gotten on a lower proof one was at Mictor's Ten we just reviewed last. Well, episode. yeah, that's that's fresh in your memory too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. It's almost like cornbread and honey. Cornbread? Mm -hmm. I haven't had cornbread in a while. Yeah, your mom used to make it yeah. for you guys. Did you used to put actual corn in the cornbread? You asked this on another video. I did? I don't remember. Normally, no. If I'm just okay. making it, I do not. If we're having like a dinner or something or there's cornbread casserole, it's not a casserole, but it wow. does have actual corn. But typically, I do not. Don't get me started on casseroles. <laughs> you don't like casseroles? He hates them. Really? I don't, I don't. I don't remember that. I don't get a casserole. I've never had a casserole that I like. Green bean casserole, trash. Oh. Sweet potato casserole. Okay, Thanksgiving trend. You know how I roll. Mashed potatoes on the bottom, green bean casserole on no. the top of that, with some Frank's hot sauce on top of that. You are famous for that. What you have to do is get whatever biscuit I make these. Uh, what like a? They're like the Red Lobster biscuits. I make those with a little. Mm -hmm. um, Bay seasoning in it, and then I a little smear a little mashed potatoes, a little turkey on there. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, how could you go wrong? I don't do gravy though. Mm -hmm. Nasty. Gravy's. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> we should have an SLB Thanksgiving. Gravy's God's nectar. To food. What's wrong with you? Put some gravy on it. Well, that's right. <laughs> Am I right? Come on. No. This kid. I don't know, buddy. I'm struggling with this a little bit. I can't say I hate it. I don't dislike it, but, you know, I'd give it a C. You'd give it a C? Mm -hmm. Well, that's letter C. A mm. <laughs> <laughs> little bit of caramel. Definitely some, some sour notes in there. Tiny bit of oak. It's okay. I will say, I've had this in the past, mm -hmm. and I remember it being a little bit more... 
What would you say that goes along with this robust? hand motion? Yes. Yep, robust. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You remember it to be that, huh? Mm -hmm. It's funny, too, how different bottles, sometimes after they open up and they sit for a while. Yeah. And I mean, your climate down here might be a little different than mine. You know, I usually keep my stuff in a hot car for a while and then transfer that to room temp and then mm -hmm. leave it in a hot car again. So it's going through a little bit of a temperature change. <laughs> you just leave yours down here. Right. So. I mean, it's okay. I'm getting some oak, but it's not... It's not a harsh oak. Yeah. A little bit of caramel. It's there. Really, yeah. that's about what it is. Yeah. It's a tiny bit of sourness. Yeah. That's about Sweet. it. Sweet. Last but not least, I'm looking at it like I have a number on mine or a letter on mine. <laughs> and you don't. And I don't. All right. We'll head on to D. Let's see what we have there. Boop. Well, I kind of like this. Do you? On the nose. This, this kind of almost, I'm trying to pinpoint this, it's hard, but I do like it. Pinpoint like the flavors mm -hmm. or the distillery no, no, or? Just the aromas. Oh, okay. It's lighter. It's a little bit floral almost. I can see a little to a, floral. To a tiny bit, but a very sweet floral note. Yeah. I really like the nose on this. I do too. It's lighter. It's not deep and dark and rich, yeah. but it's a very nice, light, crisp it's delicate. nose. It's yeah, like it's a nice, delicate. It's like when mom Thank wears you. a nice perfume. It's delicate. Yeah, it is. And you're like, ooh, that's not, that's not punching very... me in the face like an old it's... granny perfume. This is nice. <laughs> this is like an eau de parfum, you know? It is. I mean, you're right. I mean, it is. I, it, this is, this is, this is nice. <laughs> you know, <laughs> your mom busted up over there. You know the eau de parfum? Dude, just stop. I can't I can't even concentrate what I'm doing here. I'm gonna do this next time you do this. Oh, well, my mind is still trapped, I'm not gonna laugh. Okay. Okay. That's one thing about Trenton. When his mom gets tickled, it's on then. That gave you a little like head recoil there. You went, ooh. Well, you know, on certain occasions, the nose doesn't translate to the palate. Yeah. You know, it just doesn't. We, you know, we've had certain bourbons on the bar top where we just love the nose and then all of a sudden we taste it. It's like, yeah. what, what happened? Yeah. But this is almost identical to the nose. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's like you a know, little floral yeah. on the on the palate. Yeah. Kind of some sweetness there, a little lighter on the palate. Elegant sipper, per se. I don't even know like what what kind of floralness I would kind of describe this as. Mm -hmm. A root line. I like arugula. What am I talking about? Mm, kind of like a honeysuckle type thing. It's uh, it's okay. Is that growing yeah, a like tree? It. Grow on a tree. Babe, does honeysuckle grow on a tree? If, you know, <laughs> if you're like a gardener or a tree person or like a park yeah. ranger and you know, let us know. Yeah. I well, could Google it right yeah. now, but just stop. My first time through Trenton, I liked A and D the best mm -hmm. from my memory. Let me just check this real quick okay. to see which one I didn't like the most. And uh, one of the reasons I chose this blind is because like you're more of a, a lower proof. You appreciate lower proof a lot more than I do because mm -hmm. a lot of the scotch you drink is, oh, yeah. is lower proof. Yeah, I really like it in that 92 proof yeah. range. Really so, like. so even though you kind of, I don't want to say you screwed me over, but you weren't very nice and you're blind. It you was, gave me a couple weird it ones. It was fun. Well, yeah, that's the thing. You, it was well, you, fun. Had, you had fun. <laughs> I also had fun. But I was trying to do something that was a little bit different to showcase a, a plethora of, of lower proof options. To me... Um, B and C is almost a tie, so I'm just going to pull out B. I will say that everything you chose up here is not really bad at all. Mm -mm. I mean, I would sip these, you know, if somebody poured them for me, I would never complain. I would not complain. And I purposely didn't choose anything bad because I wanted to get your well, good. honest opinion. Well, good. I'm thankful yeah. for that because I'm There's trying. Corner creek. I'm really going through this to go, well, what sucks in here? Because you're trying to, you know, I'm really, you know, my mind's like, okay. I'm waiting for that one that just kind of like is not good or something's going on with it. But, you know, 
I'm getting your vibe here in the 90 proof range stuff and you know and but all of them are pretty decent I wouldn't complain if somebody poured me either any of these yeah. to tell you the truth cool okay but we have to make a choice so I'm, I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna go ahead then Trenton and I'm gonna go ahead and take out um, C next so B would be my first out C would be my second out okay and my <clears throat> first time through I, I really liked A and D the most okay so we'll go back to those now and see what we have in that kind of stuff I really like the nose on this one yeah on A I really do do you have any guesses about proof, anything distillery, anything? You don't well, have to ask. You're in the you 90s have... for sure. I okay. Mean, it, it's, it's, I'm guessing around 90 to, excuse me, 90 to 95 proof, somewhere in there. Okay. You know, distillery and stuff, I am just not good at that. I've never focused on that. I, I should. Except I should wild have, turkey. I mean, you can pick that up pretty well. Sometimes. I should have your mom do that for me on occasion here and practice it. But I've been so I've been so focused on trying to give people my thoughts and, and my sincere feelings on different types of bourbon, how I, it's good, bad, and different, and I just never have practiced picking out, you know, different distilleries. Yeah, yeah distilleries proof anything in a blind. Yeah, I'm usually wrong when I pick. I just think it's kind of fun to, mm -hmm. to do it every now and then. Because sometimes I'm right. I can pick out a couple distilleries. Seven times out of ten, yeah. I feel like. I mean, if you want to mean A is giving me off a little bit of a Buffalo Trace type vibe to it. Okay. It's got some caramel toffee stuff in it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't delve. None of these, none of these go deep, dark, and rich. Nope, they do but not. But A, so far, gives me the most caramel and toffee type sweetness to it. Okay. I, yeah, I could, I could pick up what you're laying down. It may not be. A little oak in there for me, I think. Sure. I don't know sure. if it's like a, just because we've been drinking a little bit, I don't mm -hmm. have like a, a water palate cleanser or anything, but a little bit of, a right. little bit of oak in there for me. That's D for you, the last one. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, Trim, this may be wrong, but for tonight, and that's the thing about blinds. What do you mean wrong? That's not wrong. Exactly what he said. I know I hit you a you lot. You hit me Sorry all the time. <laughs> Sorry. I got bruises here. You dislocate my shoulder. Sorry about that. I do that quite a bit. In blinds, keep this in mind, you know, we could do the same exercise tomorrow and I could have a different lineup. Oh, yeah. It depends what you're, what you're liking that evening. I'm really into D. Okay. I know this has some great toffee caramel type. We just talked about it, but this here really has that floral a little bit of floral a little bit of honeysuckle some nice honey flavored notes to it to me it's it's like a really nice refreshing mm -hmm. pour. i don't know like mm -hmm. it was 85 degrees and kind of humid here i don't know if you know i don't know yeah for but some reason tonight i really like d so i'm gonna nice pull out a second place and then that would be d is in my first place so now we get to see how foolish i really am there, there is a reason that I chose the bottles I did. No, to a to a degree. That doesn't to a degree. surprise me at all. So you want your last place first? Okay. Your last place was well or twelve. Okay, well, now let's just say this, right? You know, Trenton knows me with with bourbon more than anybody else. I have never been a huge fan of well or twelve. Mm -mm. And I got I, that. I, I got that for him as a gift. He's not a fan, you know. And it's still not. It's a, isn't that the seven hundred mil yeah, bottle the, too? Yeah, it's the e still release. not quite gone. I got that for you three years ago. I, I like it. Yeah. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it on a pedestal. And you did. I like other Weller yeah. offerings better than Weller Twelve. So you that, did. Yeah. That doesn't shock me. For me personally, this is my personal palate. Weller uh, Weller Twelve is fourth, third place. Michter's Sour Mash. Okay. Small batch. All right, I can deal 80, with that. 86 proof. This is the lowest proof yeah. out of the out of the four That's that all I right. picked. This is, uh, like I told you in a prior video, Trent, this is the very first bottle I ever hunted. Yeah, I Isn't remember that. that. weird? Hunted That's Michter's weird. Sour Mash. But at that time, you couldn't find it anywhere because it won some a bunch of awards. Yeah. And so, I usually always have a bottle of this here, and I... I tend to like it quite a bit yeah it's a little it's a little bit like this is the one that i said was a little bit less um robust yes. than i remember it and, being. I, and yeah 
I but, can get that. You know, it's it's cool that it beat Weller yeah. 12. I think I yeah, think that's it, a fair. If assessment. you get it at the right price, it's 40, 45 bucks. Yeah, I think it's solid for forty bucks. It's weird though because when I was bucks. I was going to Benny's for a while and I saw this limit one per person at a hundred bucks a bottle. Like it got allocated at some point in Illinois. No. It was weird. Forty five dollars, it's a it's a good bottle. That was weird. Second place. Old Forester one hundred. Okay. Well, as you know, that doesn't surprise me either because this bottle here I use extensively here in the bar, not only in you know, a, a low price sipper, but also a cocktail mixer. Yeah. It's a it's a great all around yes. bottle for twenty five bucks. Yeah. Twenty bucks, twenty five bucks. Twenty three, twenty five dollars in our yeah. area. How can you go wrong with that? Delicious. Fantastic. I, I like it. Yeah, and fantastic. I'm su I'm surprised that I picked this over my next one because admittedly I don't have a whole lot of experience with this next one. So this is where I'm getting a little scared because you know, I don't know. When you have no idea what Trenton's up to, I'm surprised. I'm just, I'm kind of got a lot of trepidation here of what you picked. I gotta this. look that up later. I don't know what that <laughs> Number one, last one, regular Maker's Mark. Really, really. Now that's a bit surprising. I do like Maker's Mark though. Yeah. There's some folks that don't really, you know, the regular Maker's Was Mark. Ninety mm, proof. Mm, mm, maybe 90. not. But today. It was really, it was really sipping with a little bit of floral to it to me. Yeah, I, I and agree. And some honeysuckle and some really nice notes in there. And I'll say like, when I was trying to figure out what bottles to pick, my, my first idea was like, okay, let's pick a, a super sought after, mm -hmm. highly allocated sure. bottle that people would, like mm -hmm. you say, push over their grandma for versus something that you can find everywhere. And then I kind of built a couple others around that. Help me with this again. Which one was this one? That was last place. I know. Which which letter? D. No, sorry. A. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I want to go back to that one. That was uh, B. B. Letter B. Okay. Yeah. I thought so, but I didn't know for sure. Yep. And when I taste it, I can pick up some of that, like, buffalo, like the quintessential for me, Buffalo Trace vibes. But still not one of my favorites. I'm going to be honest with each and every one of you out there. Again, a blind is a blind. It's individual. It's personal. It's what you choose, right? No right, no wrong. I just tasted the Weller 12. I'm going to go back and taste the Maker's Mark. I tasted it a minute ago. I'm sticking with my decision. I think for tonight, I would I, I would also probably do the same. I'm sticking. I'm, 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 keeping, yeah. what I, I'm keeping what I chose. I know it may seem awkward to folks out there, but yeah, that's my lineup. Yeah. It is what it is. I will tell you though, there's people that love Weller 12. And oh, if you yeah. do, it's got like God a cult following. It's got a cult yeah, following. I, I, no problem with that. If that's one of your favorites, you're not wrong. That doesn't mean I'm right. You're wrong. Don't ever think that. So, but this is my least favorite of all the Weller releases that we have. You like the like, uh, Weller Special Reserve a little better than that? I do. Oh, Personally, okay. I do. Personally, oh. I do. Okay. I like the honey notes that are in there and some other things that I find in there. I like the 107 especially more than that. And, of course, I like the foolproof more than that. Interesting. We That's might have me. to do a Weller blind at some point. We might have to. Um, but I would be interested to see if you guys have a, like an allocated bottle you looked for or hunted for for a long time, and it turns out it didn't kind of live up to what you thought it would. Mm -hmm. And you prefer, like, for this example, you prefer Maker's Mark over Weller 12. Yeah. I'd be interested to hear stories like that and what the bottles were. Because I think mm -hmm. blinds tell a heck of a story. Yeah. Because for me, these three makes perfect sense to me. Uh -huh. This one on the end of the list, though. <laughs> it was different. For a lot of folks, might be like, he, that guy's out of his mind. Well, but that's your palate, you know. That's it, man. Opinions can't be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that all the time, but. <laughs> all right that's all we have for you tonight i hope you had fun watching uh trenton make a fool out of the old man but what <laughs> hey if you stand by hey, what you picked you're not no you're not I, a fool, I do so I, I do and it, you know tonight is what it is again with blinds tomorrow could be different might be different as always we ask you to please drink responsibly we'll see you next time right down here with trenton and i in a good old basement bourbon bar see you later
Thank you.